other interesting cultural news, you have CNN cutting off a person on air who is sticking up for Trump and talking about the upcoming debate moderator's large bias. Now, this is first brought to us thanks to Charlie Kirk over on X Twitter, in which he says, quote, Everyone knows Jake Tapper hates Donald Trump. Joe Biden knows that Jake Tapper hates Donald Trump. Jake Tapper knows he hates Donald Trump. But CNN won't say, let you say that on the air. If CNN is, in, is this deranged now, just wait for the Trump-hating Jake Tapper during the debate. Fake news. Although, let's be honest. Every time you hear or see the words fake news or China, Calipa Thank you says, fake news. Absolutely fake. The fakest of the news. But granted, that might be the worst Trump impression you hear all year. But you did hear it. Now, this got 1 million views and 32,000 likes. Let's see. Uh, this is well, obviously not too surprising, but it's only about 30 seconds to see what they have to say. Well, first of all, it's so it takes someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently we're going to stop this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Adolf Hilter. I, Ma'am, I, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here we, to speak on his behalf, and I, I am willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay. Now, uh, I'm for sorry, this guys. Debate, We're going to come back out to the panel. For, Caroline, thank you very much for your time. You are welcome to come back. At- uh, the CNN gal, as wise as she is, beautiful. <laughs> That's funny because, well, I certainly don't think she is, but some might. And it got 1 million views and 32,000 likes, which, yeah, I can't but think this will mirror the debate tonight where you just cut, well, they are going to literally cut the mic off. I wonder how much they'll mute Trump so you can't hear his responses. Well, that'll be really interesting. Well, the first response comes from Rita Love saying the fact that the cable news is still standing, uh, standing considering the current state of the internet is honestly baffling. Getting 407 likes. Play a memes. F mice. They did not respond in meme form, just text. But they said, quote, this is most likely a preview to how Jake Tapper will conduct himself on Thursday. Getting 59 likes. I love American news. That's 100% true. And this picture of Trump Melania says life was better when they were in the White House. Getting 128 likes. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. He's straight from the donkey's mouth. Jake Tapper. Libercat Media TM says, correct. He was comparing Trump to Hitler. That is, that is what Casey was trying to hide. At least he suited up. But here's the little Jake. The dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler is once again alive and well on a national political stage. This time, of course, in the United States. This time given life by former president and current Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump. Let's recognize this comment for what it is, a long-standing anti-Semitic trope that the true... Is that an anteater? She looks so familiar. ...allegiance for Jews is to their religion rather than their country. It was used in Nazi Germany to justify the arrests, persecutions, and mass killings, attempted extermination of the Jewish people. And Trump has been pushing this trope for years. Yep, that's why his family members are Jewish. Uh Uh-huh. He talks about the blood of America as being poisoned. Echoing the same exact language used in Nazi Germany. Got 140 likes for that. While uh, Hope says the real question is, why did Donald Trump accept these terms again? Getting 957 likes. Well, there's a downside of Trump saying, you know, name your time. You know, he said, literally said, anytime, anywhere. Any, you know. So he kind of threw that ball in the bond campaign's court. Well, I'm not sure if that was, a, I don't think that was a good strategy here in terms of having, you know, giving them all the power to, you know, set all the terms, because obviously these are terms are very much advantageous to Biden, but yeah, not too surprised. Philip Anderson simply says F Joe Biden, F Jake Tapper, and F CNN, F all those communist cheaters. Trump 2024 got 310 likes. Tom McGuire says CNN is allergic to facts, getting 208 likes. A lot of people calling her a disgrace to journalism. There's a funny picture of a mother and a mother and a daughter. She says, if you don't stop lying, you'll grow up to be, be a reporter for CNN, getting 71 likes. Here, I like contrarian statements. I mean, CN- Lord knows CNN could use the ratings. They've been going downhill for years. Really told ever since Trump lost the election. What was it forty percent less views at CNN? I mean, they had a rudimentary app for CNN Plus that failed nearly immediately. They have lost. I think they spent forty-eight thousand dollars per customer in terms of acquisition costs, and that is terrible. And they obviously lost so much money they closed it down. So yeah, count but think. Yeah, it'll be an interesting debate. How useful will it be? How much will we really learn from it? And will CNN, will CNN ever actually recover from the credibility loss? And the new CEO of the parent company came in. They said they're going to fix CNN. 
Kind of like how Bob Iger said he's going to fix Disney. But yeah, I can't help but think, is the patient too far gone? Let me know, do you know anyone who still actually watches CNN like genuinely? Or do you know anyone who actually supports them? And do you know anyone who actually pays for CNN? That, I mean, I've never met anyone in real life who does. But let me know in the comments. It'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe. Fight the good fight.